This is a, a upon further review, reviewing the take that we always, already got in because we were dissecting Oregon and UCLA and we were looking at the fact that you know these two teams on a down-to-down basis were very, very close. They played a competitive game. It was all about finishing drives. UCLA had to settle for too many field goals. Oregon did a better job of finishing and stole the possession with the onside kick. And that's how you end up with a 15-point margin at the end of the game. But I come back to say, but is this approach, is this aggressive approach, the ability to finish drives, is that going to make Oregon college football playoff bound? They've I, got to be impressive down the stretch. I don't, how, what's the worst law? The teams have lost before. No one's ever suffered a blowout mm-hmm. and uh, made it to the playoff. No, the – the Isn't it like twenty one or Clemson blow out Notre Dame in the rematch in the COVID year? They in like the that was like a three or four score game. Yeah, yeah, but that was. But wasn't they already like in? Mm-hmm. You know, like it was already kind of done, and that's why Texas and M fans were so upset because it was like, oh, it was just a split. We're gonna get that. You know, they need to. You know, it was in Clemson. It was somebody hurt. I'm trying to think back because it was, but even still, it wasn't forty nine to three. Yeah. What was I don't know if they can like, recover like from that. something. So I think a 12 and one Pac 12 champion, Oregon Ducks, with the only loss being in the season opener to Georgia, and let and let the committee come out there and be like, it was Bo Nix's first game with the new team. It was Dan Lanning's first game as a, ever as a head coach. You were going up against the reigning national champions. And, you know, they would need Georgia to continue to – they would probably need Georgia to also be in the college football playoff at the time. But Cal, Colorado, Washington, Utah at home, and then Oregon State, I think that the door is open thanks to finishing drives, some aggressive play calling, and Bo MF Knicks, I think the door is open for this Oregon team to make a return. Shout out to those 2014 Ducks to the college football playoff. I need a. Oh, sorry. Go, Tom. I think it's open. I just don't think they can, quote unquote, control their own destiny. Like if they win out and they win the Pac 12 and they're a one loss Pac 12 champion, of course they're going to be in the running. But they're going to need to be impressive. Like when they get to the Pac 12, they, they play Utah later this year need to be an impressive win. If they play USC or UCLA again in the Pac-12 championship, because I'm assuming if they beat Utah in that game, it won't be the Utes they're playing. They need to be impressive because if there's anybody with a similar resume, like if there's a one-loss SEC team that did not win the, like Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, if they're 12-1 and or whatever and just lost the SEC title game, especially if it's Georgia, because they're just going to point to Georgia beating them 49-3. to but if it's also against like one loss Tennessee, one loss Alabama, one loss Michigan, one loss Ohio State, they are going to get hammered over the head by that 49 to 3 loss. I will say Georgia also had a year where they lost Auburn blew them out in Auburn and they, and Georgia won the rematch in the SEC title game. So it was sort of the reverse of what we had with Clemson Notre Dame. That, that was the year that was the year of the uh, Tua uh, uh to Devontae Smith walk off, right? Mm-hmm. Um I'm pretty yeah, I'm pretty sure right. on that. Yeah. So the they also need a couple things to happen in addition to what Tom said. So I think you need your Pac-12 title game opponent to be USC and for USC to run the table from here on out. That way you have a diversity of resume. I think playing UCLA again is not good because people are already going to downgrade UCLA and USC is more of a name. And whether the committee wants to admit it or not, they care about name value. You also need to beat Utah and then have Utah not lose any more games. So you're talking about having a win over a 9-3 and three Utah team. Eight and four Utah may or may not finish ranked. They have some like poll moment, like just you know initial momentum from how high they were to start the season. But it's also how often do we see eight and four Pac twelve teams ranked? It's not. It's sort of a dicey proposition. And then I think they probably need Georgia to beat Tennessee by multiple scores, which Tom said.